Hello, my name is Tim Clark, founder of Corazon Oilfield Services. Welcome to Coring 101. This is episode 6, Specialist Coring Systems, Sampling Systems. Pressure and sponge coring systems are variants of the standard rotary coring system. The aim of any coring operation is to obtain a sample of reservoir formation in as close to native state as possible. During the trip out of hole, the pressure in the core barrel drops and reservoir fluids and gas are lost to the wellbore and into the mud system. This can affect the accuracy of data obtained from core analysis. Pressure coring and sponge coring systems were designed to minimize this effect and improve data accuracy. Pressure coring aims to maintain downhole pressure at surface and prevent the loss of in situ fluids and gases during depressurization. A core is cut using the conventional rotary style, and upon completion, the barrel is activated using a drop ball. Once activated, the core barrel seals fully at the top and bottom to maintain internal pressure as the barrel is recovered to surface. At surface, the core barrel is laid down, usually ending up into a service unit where the barrel is partially disassembled and flushed of drilling fluid while being connected to a closed loop pressure maintenance system. When the flushing process is complete, the barrel is frozen in dry ice or liquid nitrogen to stabilize the core. The barrel can then be shipped back to the lab to start core analysis. Historically, there have been concerns related to pressure coring, mostly focusing on safety and reliability. Pressure coring technique is especially useful when the feasibility of secondary and tertiary recovery methods are being evaluated, or when appraising unconventional reserves, for example, assessing gas hydrate reserves. The gas trapper system from ALS can be considered a variant of the pressure coring system. The gas trapper system is designed to collect the gas that escapes from the core during trip out in a special chamber above the core barrel. At surface, the gas in the chamber is then bled off into special gas bottles and are sent away for analysis. Sponge coring can be considered a compromise of the pressure coring system. The aims of the sponge coring system is to capture the oil that would normally be lost to the wellbore during a trip out. This allows for a more accurate calculation of oil saturation. The sponge coring system is made up of sections of liners which have a molded polyurethane sponge sleeve approximately one quarter of an inch in diameter fixed to the ID of the liner. The sponge is chemically treated in order to be oil wet and therefore absorb the oil that is expelled from the core and hold it in position opposite the core from which it was released. The sponge is engineered to minimize vertical transition of the oil while allowing for absorption. The sponge also provides some protection for the core during transit. Sponge coring has particular applications for looking at enhanced oil recovery techniques or when coring buggy carbonates. When using a sponge coring system, typically the core would be 3.5 inches and an 8.5 inch hole and will be limited to a 30 feet run, sometimes shorter. Using sponge coring techniques can also increase the risk of jamming in unconsolidated or fractured formation due to the tight fit of the sponge around the core. The liquid trapper is ALS's alternative to the sponge system. It is designed to have expanding seals at regular intervals. Upon completion of the coring, the system is activated and the seals expand, securing the core fluids in situ, while allowing the gas to escape during trip out of the hole. In this episode, we have considered two of the more specialised rotary coring systems, and in the next episode we will continue in this vein looking at the orientated and gel coring systems.